Amos, Gram. We keep running into fools who forget what side they're on. See, this is why we need a new Imperial Senate. Someone who can keep these idiots in check. We have a war to win. Officers like Grom need direction, not a leash. Looking to the horizon is all very well, Sol. But remember to look at what's going on around you. With that Beradium at our disposal, we'll be at the forefront of the attack on the Nadiri dockyards. We got caught off guard at the Xavian Abyss. That can't happen again. In one move, Captain Carroll took us from a near shipwreck to a key military asset. She'll have a plan. Let's see what's next. Our victory is nearly at hand. We have the location of the Nadiri dockyards, and the Overseer is almost back to full strength. Our only obstacle now is Vanguard Squadron. I won't let them catch us off guard. Not again. Admiral Sloan has a plan to draw Vanguard Squadron and other defenders away from the Nadiri dockyards. The Admiral has ordered Titan Squadron to play a part, and she wants you to take the lead. For this mission, at least. I trust Admiral Sloan's decision. You've proven yourself capable many times over. Just don't let it go to your head. It would be a pity if you turned out like Colonel Graham. Our Baradian munitions give us the firepower to take on the Starhawk, but the situation isn't that simple. The Nadiri dockyards are protected by a massive rebel fleet. We cannot engage the Starhawk until it is vulnerable. Admiral Sloan's strategy is simple. Lure the Republic fleet away from Nadiri with simultaneous attacks on enemy targets across the galaxy. We've been assigned to attack Moncala. We don't have the numbers for a pitched battle, so you will have to strike fast. Your mission is to sow chaos through multiple attacks, moving quickly. These refueling pods are your first target. Next, attack civilian transports and any medical frigates supporting them. This will certainly draw out Anvil Squadron who are defending Moncala. Stay ahead of them if you can. Titan 3, you're ready for more responsibility. You will lead the assault. Make this fast and brutal. They've earned it. And while Titan attacks Moncala, two battle groups will launch strikes at Onderon and Gorse, disrupting Republic supply lines. Ah, at ease, pilot. Reports of your achievements have crossed my desk with unusual frequency. Those accolades have been well earned, Admiral. If Titan Squadron's a weapon, our newest pilot is its cutting edge. Just as I'd hoped. Then consider Moncala a test, pilot. Great talent requires greater challenges. Agreed, Admiral Sloan. And I look forward to filing my next commendation report. I'm going to overlook your unapproved acquisition of Colonel Grom's beradium supply. Although I hope you both learned something from that encounter. Colonel Grom is efficient. After all, he did successfully defend his depot without using any of his own resources. But an Imperial officer must also show finesse if they are to command effectively. We understand, Admiral. Completely. That will be all. Seeing you rise to the occasion, taking lead on this mission, it reminds me why I keep fighting. Despite my age. Despite the fatigue. We're one step closer to the Starhawk. Ride this confidence, but don't let arrogance get the best of you. We're all expendable, but not every pilot is replaceable. When we lose a good leader or loyalist, you can't fill the void with just anyone. Good pilots inspire those above and below them. When you're in charge of a squadron someday, remember that. For now, let's focus on the mission. For this mission, 
You're authorized to fly a TIE fighter, Reaper, or Interceptor. Your choice.
Titan. 
you. Take no chances, Titan. Return to the Overseer's hangar if you need emergency repairs. This is it, Titan. The Silver Coronet. The pride of Anvil Squadron. And the chance to strike an even greater blow. Titan 3, lead the assault. Demonstrate your capabilities. All right, Bree. Lead on. Excellent work. 